Facebook Marketing for Real Estate Agents Action Plan To make a marketing campaign on Facebook, you'll have to create a Facebook page first. If you do not know how to make a Facebook business page, then just go to Google, type in how to make a Facebook business page, then scroll on down until you find Facebook's link that says how to set up a Facebook business page. 1. Now if you do not have a Facebook business page already, then by clicking on this, the link mentioned in the paragraph above, will walk you through the process of creating one. After your Facebook business page is created, then you click on Create Ad, and you're on your way to setting up your real estate marketing campaign. Next, you want to click on Create Ad, and then click on Get More Leads, and then proceed to the next page. 2. After you clicked on Create Ad, scroll on down and click on Create New Form. You'll see a box that says Your Form Name. What this will do is it will name this particular marketing campaign. You're probably going to have more than one marketing campaign, so having a specific name for each campaign helps you stay organized. 3. What you want to do next is go down until you see the Customize Form Text field, and then what we're going to do is put in your marketing content here, and then you'll proceed to putting in your headline next. You might see a box that says Description. And what you should consider doing is describing your marketing campaign here, because in the event that you have more than one marketing campaign, you want to put in details about that particular marketing campaign that you're doing that particular time, because if it's successful, then the name of your best performing ad campaign. On the other hand, if there are changes that need to be made to a particular campaign, you'll know the name of it as well. 4. After you put in all your information, the next step is to go on down to, and click on, the section that says Audience Details. Now, what you want to do is edit the customer details here. Facebook's default marketing settings are a broad range, 18 to 65-year-olds. Most 18-year-olds do not have money to buy a house. Most 65-year-olds have already purchased a house, and they're settled in the house that they like. With that said, Facebook's default marketing presets are not the parameters that you want. At this point, what you want to do is collect data from your market segmentation and put in the people that you really want to target here, which is your target audience. You need to collect your data to create your customer profile so that you know exactly who it is that you're targeting so that your marketing dollars work best for you. 5. After completing the steps in the paragraph above, you can now move on to targeting your audience in a more detailed manner. Again, you'll need your customer profile because your customer profile will tell you exactly what your target audience likes to do, where you can find them, their attitudes, values, beliefs, what they spend money on, things of that nature, where they want their money going. So again, you need your customer profile so that you can target your specific audience and spend your marketing dollars more efficiently. If you do not know what a customer profile is, click here. 6. One rule of thumb is that once you know your ages, it is in your best interest not to get your resulting data skewed or having your hard-earned money go to waste by getting overly specific in your audience details. You want to be as broad as possible while still narrowing down to your target audience to achieve maximum results with your marketing efforts. With that said, under Detailed Targeting, you can get specific about targeting people by education, employment, income, and other parameters. This is important because, for example, people with more education tend to have more money. On that note, people with a professional degree, master's degree, or doctorate degree tend to have more money than people who have a high school education as their highest education levels. Historically speaking, people with master's degrees, grad degrees, bachelor's degrees, those are the ones with money and are the ones who are going to be purchasing a piece of property. After the education portion of audience targeting, you may want to consider targeting any further beyond that because, as mentioned earlier, you want to be as broad as possible with your marketing while still targeting your market segment. Additionally, the education levels that were noted above were merely examples. You should go by the education levels of your consumer profile. 7. After completing the previous steps, and when you scroll down toward the bottom of the page, you should see an option to turn on something called Facebook Pixel. You want Facebook Pixel turned on because it will tell you of your exact analytics, such as how many people clicked on your ads but didn't respond, the people who clicked on your ads, of what age they were, all those target audience components that we covered in the above paragraph. Additionally, if you do not know who your market audience is, or your market segment, 
Facebook Pixel will tell you. With that said, the greatest benefits of Facebook Pixel is that it will tell you exactly who your target audience is. So the next time you spend money marketing, you can spend your money more efficiently according to the data analytics provided by Facebook Pixel. 8. Now what we're going to do is click Promote Now. After doing all of that, and you add your money here, your payment, you put your credit card here, click Save, and that's all you do. So now you have all of the information that you need and to run successful marketing campaigns for your real estate business on Facebook Marketing.